I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking right now with returning guest Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, industry veteran and handicapping industry survivor. Joe Duffy, thanks for being here once again. Well, Peter, thank you for having me. All right, the second game we're going to talk about is Philadelphia at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a seven-point home favorite, and Philly, of course, they're awful, but they did finally get a cover last week. Tampa Bay, you know, they've lost two in a row. They, they, they were, they've were they been overachieving this year a bit, or not necessarily overachieving this year, but they were better than maybe some people were expecting them to be. Their offensive line, though, now is breaking down a bit. Doug Martin's not running as well as he was in the early part of the year. Their run D is still great, though. Uh, the Eagles defense, uh, you know, they've been awful since their new coordinator took over, but maybe they're due to uh, improve pretty soon. Uh, what, what would you take here if you had to make a bet? Uh, I'm going to go with the underdog here. And in mm -hmm. fact, on our last preview, and everybody wants to watch all the previews here at SBR yes. Forum, but we talked about Arizona, Seattle, an angle that I didn't mention in that game that applies twice on uh, this mm -hmm. week. And it's to that game and this game. Underdogs off of seven straight or more losses are actually a very impressive 83 and 40 to the number, including a perfect 5 and 0 this year. Goes back to our theory that, as a general rule of thumb, the best value is betting on bad teams that are getting a lot of points because they're going to be undervalued, or uh, betting against those very good teams that are laying a ton of points because they're going to be overvalued. So that rare angle. Obviously, you don't have a case where teams are losing seven games that often, but it applies twice, including here to Philadelphia. Now, they did fire their defensive line coach, Jim Washburn, and that was a really bizarre circumstance where they, way back a couple of years ago, they hired Jim Washburn, their defensive line coach, before they hired their defensive coordinator, Juan Castillo, who you were talking about. And Washburn was known for this wide nine defensive line scheme, and it was really unprecedented in sports where they hired the defensive line coach and then they told the defensive coordinator, you got to work the rest of the defense around the defensive line schemes. That was obviously a complete and thorough disaster. Now the defense coordinator's gone. The defensive line coach is gone. They're going to be uh, a lot more straightforward this week. If you've watched the Eagles, they've missed a gazillion assignments. Uh, it's been completely terrible, but they're going to go to much more basic schemes this week their talent is clearly much better than they played this year. They've also been able to infuse some new talent on offense, where both at quarterback and at running back, they've got rookies who have shown some great flashes, putting a little bit of life into that uh, offense. Now, they did not uh, cover last week, but they were pretty com well, – I'm sorry, they did cover on that late uh, punt return, but they were pretty competitive all the way. So this is a Philadelphia team that they're still fighting to the end, and almost exactly as I said on our last video that we did, Tampa Bay is in uncharted water. They were on the inside of the playoff picture. Then they've lost two straight. All of a sudden, they're on the outside of the bubble. Now the pressure's on them. This is a young The criticism against Josh Freeman all along was he doesn't respond well to adversity. Well, guess what he's facing now? Adversity. And he's a favorite against an underachieving team that's finally gotten rid of some of their coaches that have caused some problems. Also, uh, Jason Babin, a defensive lineman who's been a problem. So look for Philadelphia to respond, to be competitive. And this might be the week that they actually finally end that straight-up losing streak. I think that makes a lot of sense, Joe Duffy. It makes a lot of sense to me. And also, this not this line has gone up. Both these teams have been kind of over-trending. But I think that, uh, you know, with Tampa Bay's offensive problems and Philly maybe improving uh, on defense, we might actually see an under here. But I'm definitely agreeing with you that Philly getting a touchdown might be the play here. Thanks so much. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com.